All right, for this episode, we're just going to be coming back to the rune, rune spear every once in a while, rune crafting place. Well, we got these skulls after last episode. So if we just want to teleport to here, then we could uh, go here. It'll just help out with uh, fishing so much. <clears throat> then we could work on rune crafting, get the rune spear, do the summoning. Essentially, since it's a new day pretty soon, we just want to get uh, fishing. Mining, fishing, and woodcutting as high as we can be before before we log out again. So we're going to be staying on this world for a bit. We went to world 89. We're going to be doing fish flingers. We talked to him. He says fish flinger starts in four minutes. So we can teleport there. We have everything we need. We just uh, wanted that last episode because we were doing fishing in Lumbridge and there is no fish flingers person there. And this person, it would help you get the fishing outfit. If we go claim rewards uh, he'll give us the hat we got 94 tokens essentially each game will give you 30 tokens so you need to do between like 18 to 20 games and then you get the full outfit so that takes six hours around six hours of fish flingers if you could do three games every hour so that's all right we'll just do fishing for a bit try to get fishing really high before we do the challenges try to get summoning up before then try to get divination up before then try to get fletching up before then try to get dungeoneering up just try to get all of our really low skills up before we get the new daily challenges <clears throat> so do we do fish flingers or something do we record fish flingers we've recorded fish flingers before it's We'll just wait till fish flinger starts. It starts in like uh, two or three minutes. We'll get a full inventory here. We'll teleport to the archaeology guild. We'll go bank. The fishing earner just teleported for 350 experience. We got to level 45. And let's uh, teleport to the archaeology guild. So let's check out this new fishing method. We could teleport to Damonheim. Right, with outward two. But then our uh, Ring of Wealth apparently shines brightly sometimes, and then it uh, gives us a reward. So go to the bank. I guess it's not too much farther than the other thing. But uh, getting the Skull Scepter definitely is pretty sweet. Because then we could just go here, then we could teleport outside, back to the... Back to the Lumbridge for... <laughs> Barbarian Village. Back to Barbarian Village for fishing. Then we just go fish here again. Super sick. Better than walking there all the time. Better than teleporting to Edgeville and then running here again. So it starts in two minutes. Alright. <clears throat> so fish flingers is pretty amazing. You just sit there and uh, fling fish. Essentially, that's uh, probably how we got our fishing level up so quick. So we're level 20, level 33, and then we come back later, we're level 45. Like within less than two hours probably. Maybe it was a bit more. We've been doing other things. But when it's about to start, you would teleport there. Fish flinger starts in one minute. Teleport. And it starts in one minute, 40 seconds. So there's some people here. Oh, when we first came here, there was a nobody. And then we were on our own world. So you'd get hints here. you find turbulent bass at the river. It has a wide mouth. So you need to take that into account into choosing your hook. Uh, so you'd say bass river, wide mouth. So that double hook. Slim hook, large, wide mouth, <coughs> double hook. So that would probably be double hook. Let's just check. <laughs> so you can ask these people, wide mouth equals double hook. They'll probably know. Wide mouth equals, <coughs> and then they'll tell you. So you <coughs> right click him before the end of the game, you get hint, and he'll tell you a hint. Wide mouth. There we go. Bass River Wide Mouth. <clears throat> so if you want to join this friend's chat, you go to your settings, go to your community, go to the social tab, then you would uh, go here, and then you would leave your friend's chat, you would join friend's chat, you would go fish flingers, you would type that in. And then you join the fish flingers chat. So it's world 89. So you'd want to go hop worlds. Hop worlds to world 89 fish flingers. So there's uh, like uh, 1,000 people on this world before. I wonder what happened to that. 
maybe it'll be busier later in the day, but the fish flingers has started. So now you have to get these things. So I wonder why it's, uh, why I got so, s oh, it's because our equipment's open. No, we don't want that. So you want to select the bait, you want to select the weight, you want to select that, and then you want to cast. <clears throat> so it shouldn't be like that. It's because we had our equipment open. We don't usually have our equipment open. But mini game should be up on. So we're failing here. <clears throat> so there we go. There's the mini game. So it'll show you your percentage at the top. You would try to guess the hook. It would be one of these six hooks. So there's different fish at the different spots. Try the large hook. See if your rating goes up. Your rating at the top, 16%. So we're not finding any of the hooks. So it's not any of those hooks. None of those hooks. They're all 16%. So that means they're all like 0%. So it must be the wooden hook then. Wooden hook would bring it up to 50%. And then you'd try to find the baits. So you can see if it's uh, related to that one, 33, so that's uh, worse than the shrimp. So maybe it was the shrimp. So maybe it was the weight. So you go to six, it was one, maybe try five. Try four, maybe uh, three, crayfish wood. So we almost got it, right? Crayfish. Oh, is there two different, two different fish here? So let's try that. <clears throat> Dock, cray, three, wood. So it'd be wood, crayfish, and three. So that's helpful being in the friend checks. So people can help you. And then if you look at ratings, you can see lake. There's two at the river, two at the lake. So let's go start looking at the lake. We know that one was that. We could try. So it's not going to be any of the same hooks that it would be at the other place. Essentially, if you look at the ratings, it'd be six different types of fish. They'd all be different weights. They'd all be different hooks. They'd all be different uh, different baits. <clears throat> so standard was uh, 50%. That's probably pretty close. 33%. So maybe it was 50%. So it'd be the standard hook, and then it'd be one of the weights. So it wasn't anywhere near that, right? You could try six, maybe five. Six was 50%, so it was probably five. Four is 50%, six is 50%, it would be five. And then you'd have to find the hook, large two gray. So he's catching a different fish. There's two different fish here. You'd want to try to catch both of them. That's 83%. So we have the hook. We just need to find the bait, 100%. All right, so we could say, uh, uh, like, what, standard uh, open five. There we go. So the other one at the lake was gray two sub. You could see if that's our fish, no. So it'd be gray two double hook. So we cast this. So we found all of the weights at this one. Right, yeah, we found one weight, he found the other weight. And then if we catch a big fish, so the way to tell if you have a big fish is you watch the bottom left here, but uh, we caught all of the fish here, so we're gonna go to the next place. And then try to find the fish here. So there's two fish here, we know, right? We checked the ratings at the beginning. So it'd be, it wouldn't be anything that was over there. <clears throat> so it'd be something completely different. So let's just try wood three, or someone would take it, say it in the chat probably, if they find it before us. Essentially, you'd have a piece of paper in front of you, you'd write down what it was so you remember what it was, but we don't have the piece of paper in front of us. And we did uh, three games completely by ourselves anyways. So that was pretty good, but then double was already something. So there we go, large, two, one. So maybe it'd be two or four, or maybe it would be three. So you try four, if it's not four, then it'd be three. Four hasn't been called yet, there we go, yes. So we could say, pass river, large, large shrimp four, pass river, large shrimp four. He didn't put the hook in. 
You have hooked a big fish. Alright, so if you have hooked a big fish, people might try to help you. <laughs> he forgot the large hook. So there's still one more fish we have to find here. <clears throat> what would it be? Right? You can see ratings. We can see there's uh, one at the beach, one at the river. So there's still a fish here. Let's go find the one here then. So we're gonna find the one here and then we're gonna come back and find the other one then. So we go over here, just try to follow everybody, don't fall behind. We've seen like uh, people in the games, they're waiting at the other place, like we caught a big fish, come help us uh, way back here. And then we're like, uh, we're all the way over here. So you can look at the ratings to see what you already did, right? We could see what, one, two, so it'd be like a one, one or six. One or six, those would be the other two fish. You look at the baits, you can see locust, shrimp, cray, so it wouldn't be any of those, so maybe what, maggots or something? He found a big fish. What is the big fish? So he would say it for us, hopefully. And then that would just leave you with uh, one different fish to find. Sixteen <clears> percent. <throat> Usually if you had it written it down on a piece of paper, you would know what it was, right? Beach slim one worm. So the other one is the weight of six. He is going to go find the other one. He is going to find the other one too. <clears throat> so we caught this one. So there's not too many people here, right? Usually sometimes there would be a whole bunch of people here. And then you watch on the bottom left. So everybody left here to try to find that one. So we know it would be six... And the hook would be, what, standard large wood double bone. Hook would be bone, and then we just have to find the bait. So what, large ray, we just try to find the base that we haven't done. So it was worm already. Crayfish was carled, right? Yeah. Maybe this one? Oh. Uh, trout Lake, is that what this is? Oh. Whatever. Bone. I get six. <laughs> there we go. So everything has been called. So now that all the fish have been explored, all the fish have been discovered, all you want to worry about is catching a big fish essentially. But you can speed up your casting speed if you finish catching a fish. You watch up here. So you have caught one and you watch here you have hooked a big fish. Do not disconnect your fish. That is how you, uh, how you can catch fish uh, without disconnecting your big fish. You just watch this in chat. Then it uh, shows up in big, bold, gold letters saying, you have caught the fish. So if you see that, then don't uh, disconnect your line. But now, you can help him catch his big fish. And then you just need to catch, like, uh, you need to catch three big fish. You need to assist them catching six big fish. So essentially if there was more people here, you would be able to assist with more people, you'd be able to catch more big fish. So let's just run over here then. So standard five locust, standard five, that's why it's uh, written down there. <clears throat> and then you would cast. Yeah, you just watch the bottom left there, you'd see if you catch a big fish, then if there's only one minute left, we don't know if there'd be a point, right? If there's less than one minute, you're not probably going to get the biggest fish, but maybe they'll help you. If not, then you could sit here and get uh, points. It's just if you click cast as soon as you catch a fish, then you get more points for the round, and you get more tickets at the end of the round. <clears throat> Generally, you get like uh, more tickets for just catching more fish or something. So he has caught a big fish, and always oh, helped him caught a big fish. So considering there's like 37 seconds left, we're just gonna sit here and keep uh, pressing the cast button when we catch a fish. If we catch a big fish, we're just going to disconnect it. That'll just give us a few more points, and then maybe we'll get an extra ticket or something. And we get more experience, because uh, experience is based on the amount of fish you catch, I think, and then the weight. <clears throat> now we're going to see a big, huge experience boost at the end of Fish Flingers. 
It's like we're saying, if there's a whole bunch of people here, you'd pretty much get uh, more of the medals, you'd get more assists, you'd pretty much get uh, all of the bait sooner. Although when you're playing by yourself, it's no problem. We did like three games by yourself and we always caught all the weights. So there's 7,000 fishing experience, 27 fish tokens. So we got uh, more fish tokens when we were doing it by ourselves. Probably because we were, I don't know, it's a lot, you, get more, you get more tickets when you're by yourself. Claim rewards so we could almost get the hat. We could almost get one of the things. And then essentially you are running out of fish flingers tickets at some point. So there's how you do fish flingers. Essentially by ourselves we got like uh, 30, 30 to 32 tickets. 31 to 33 tickets each game. That one we got 27. So 7,000 experience would level you up to the next fishing level. Essentially every single game would level you up. And uh, we don't want to log out, we don't want to hop worlds, because we want to try to get fishing, and then we want to try to wait and get the daily challenges uh, when our levels are up a bit more, so we can get the most experience from our daily challenges. And then we want to level up our other things so that uh, they can get the most experience from their daily challenges. So we're just going to work on those there quick. Maybe we'll end this episode. Maybe this is already like uh, 12 minutes or something. Fish Flingers doesn't take too long.